Hey y'all, it's Ashley. You're a complete blessing in my life and I want to thank each and every one of you. Everybody keeps asking, only a few people know, but I'm in the hospital again and I've been here several days, not at this one per se, and I will get into that in just a minute. But uh, the first one I was there for about four days, maybe five, and then something happened and I left. And now I'm here at the new one, which is a glorious establishment. It's been a blessing. Um, I've been here now about four days, maybe three, and I'll be here in two more days. I'll get, I'll be able to leave. The last round of chemo made me super sick, and for two stolid weeks I did nothing but vomit, and it made my sodium levels cl critically low at 111 when you're supposed to be at 135 so I was at the fatal mark praise God that I'm still here oh, really really fast okay the other day at the other hospital the lady I didn't know her from Adam's house cat she was shift change an old white lady that was very large she came in barking at me at 7 in the 7 30 in the morning saying, why are you obstructing the heart machine? I said, of course I'm not. I have a colostomy bag. So I was cleaning up, trying to make sure, you know, I didn't get anything anywhere. It had burst. And so anyhow, of course, because they gave me the wrong supplies, I should have brought them from home, but that's neither here nor there now. So she uh, decided she was going to mumble under her breath something in my direction and I couldn't understand what it was and the next thing I heard is I'm not begging her to stay and I said no ma'am I don't expect anybody to beg me to stay anywhere I said but if you're suggesting I leave I'll do just that and she goes oh you're gonna AMA I said at your suggestion yes ma'am and so she brought me in the paperwork and said the doctor will be here shortly I said, well, that's wonderful. I'd love to have a chat with him. Well, she couldn't pack me up quick enough once she heard that. And she was just having a bad morning and took it out on me. Now on my way out, I forgot I had the port was still hooked up. They, they accessed my port that goes directly into my heart to deliver chemo. They accessed it and used it as an IV, which really is a no-no. But they're going to do what they're going to do up there in Gaston County. So anyhow, the lady said, oh, wait, as I called my husband and told him to come get me, I, she was telling me she needed that room pronto. So I was hunkering out of there with all the bags that I could muster. She took my black sandals, brand new, my phone box, my little block to charge it. So I had to, hadn't had a charger in days. Anyway, so I was walking out and she goes, I don't have time to mess with this port. And I said, well, I'll do it. Let me take the tape off. They tape it up, you know, real good so it don't get infected. And she ripped in one fatal swoop that tape, just like that. And when she did, she ripped it so hard that the butterfly that they had stuck in it as the IV head came out with it. And that was directly in my heart. And I said, oh, my gosh. And there's a picture of the damage that she did. That's my port above the star, that, that hump. And then all that purple bruising is what she did when she ripped that tape off. So I've taken pictures and documented this, and I will be seeing a lawyer. And I'm going to talk to her superiors come as soon as I get out of here. But I thought I'd share this with you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for all your prayers. For everybody that knew, I appreciate all your well wishes. God bless every single one of you, and I love you so much, especially Peter. I'll be working on a video tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be put out tomorrow, but Peter is the creative genius behind the pictures, and he has been a help like no other, and I appreciate him so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love y'all.